discipline. Many of us, we fall, uh, we succumb to distraction. Now, the distractions are very important to learn within. When we can start to analyze that our lives are built upon distractions. From a very young age, we are inflicted within this imagination which we convince ourselves is true to our existence, yet we could be quite essentially living within an imagination within an imagination. And this imagination within an imagination is is what we can refer to as a distraction that's luring our attention away from something that we can naturally um, reflect. So, to comprehend this a little bit better, when we wake up into this reality, if we're thinking something, we're producing the imagination. We're producing something that maybe we're desiring or something that we want to achieve or something that we are... Um, yeah, desiring or wanting to achieve. Now, this imagination is what I'm referring to as a distraction. Because without this imagination that is trying to convince us to believe something or achieve something, all we're left with when you take this away is a steady, consistent um, state of being. And we'll we'll understand this in one point of our lives or another, that if you take away the imagination, and when I'm referring to this imagination, I'm talking especially referring it to any desire in our lives. Desire. So within desire, I'm talking about ambition to a to an extent. Because the truth of, of, of this existence is that nothing is negative. Nothing within the form of our, of our existence is negative. All which attaches to negativity is, is the essence of a vibrational frequency, which if our attention or if our minds um, start to uh, become um, concealed within this frequency of attention or frequency of imagination, we therefore get stuck or um, essentially paralyzed within this frequency of existence. So the reason why I'm saying this is because when we open our eyes in the morning and set these intentions or desires to go out into ultimately creating an imagination and then what we're doing is we're attaching ourselves to that imagination and attempting to try and um, achieve that 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 imagination achieving that desire achieving that um, yeah ultimately trying to achieve that desire or ch- achieve that outcome now this is where it can be very very, 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 very powerful to understand is that any time we are imagining something that has been seeded from a thought that is not, does not, because this is also extremely important to understand, is that this reality which we're living in is ultimately trying to create pain and suffering. Now, there's something about this reality which is trying to create pain and suffering. And when we are beings admitting pain or admitting suffering, what we are doing is we're ultimately creating a version of ourselves which is disconnected from our true expression of existence. Now, this true expression or true existence is what we can call spirit or what we can call unconditional love or infinite possibility. We'll wrap it up into a part two. Ah.